Well, this is not what this video is about. Coming very soon here on the channel. First of all, welcome back to the off grid garage here. We have a late night show again. It is late Tuesday, Tuesday evening. Well, guys, welcome back to the show. Welcome back to sunny, hot Australia. It is really hot. Can you hear that? Here, yeah, that's the inverter. The pool pump is still running and the car is charging because we had a full battery again today and I need to dump this energy. Talking about dumping energy. Thank you so much for all your great comments about the Victron Multi Plus. <laughs> about the, the Victron Multi Plus 2 here, 48 5000. Um, they have sent me as a replacement for the Victron Phoenix inverter I have originally ordered. And there were some great comments because one of my questions was what shall we do with the old inverter, right? This is the 48 Phoenix inverter, but um, it cannot be combined with any other inverter. Even it's the smart version, which obviously means only it has Bluetooth. It is not that smart and it probably wasn't a smart decision to buy this in the first place. But a year ago, it seemed to be a smart decision. But now we are further. We've got more insight now. We've got more ideas, more visions. What is coming next here on the channel? Many people said, well, keep the other inverter and hook it up to a separate circuit. Oh, sorry for the noise here. Well, talking about separate circuit, I have upgraded our distribution box here under the inverter. We now have a 63 amp main switch here where the incoming cable is at the top. And then here at the bottom, we have these thicker cables connected to our bus bars here, which feed our RCDs. And then we have the output here at the top to every single circuit. Yes, you can use the Eclipsal RCDs in both directions. It doesn't matter. And this was the best way how everything fits. And you, as you can see, we still have space for one more RCD. So I just wanted to show you this one here. This has all been upgraded now. Um, I've done this on the last day of last year because it was raining outside anyway. So, so yeah, we could potentially have the MultiPlus here on this side and keep this inverter here to power just the car charger or the pool pump and the irrigation pump, for example, and then have the big inverter here for the garage, for everything else, charging the car, stuff like this. I had, I had as many comments as these ones saying, well, sell the inverter, sell it back to Springers. They may give you some money for it. And then you can buy another MultiPlus 2 and connect them in parallel, synchronize them up. And we have 10,000 VA of imaginary power then. Would be another solution. But the best solution was actually, why don't you piggyback the MultiPlus onto the other inverter? Because I have told you the MultiPlus has an AC input and it doesn't matter what kind of AC signal it gets here. It could be a grid connected, it could be a generator, it could be a plug on the campground, it could be a plug in a marina somewhere. It doesn't really matter. And people said, why don't you use this old inverter, the 3000 VA inverter and connect the output of this inverter to the input of the MultiPlus. So the MultiPlus would handle this one as a, as a generator or as a limited power source. And this is exactly what the MultiPlus is designed for, right? It can handle limited AC power sources. And then it can add the additional power from the battery or from solar here. And I think this is a fantastic idea. Here, here, just, just so you, I have the, um, I have the good old uh, Xia inverter here. Okay, so just to, just to imagine that, this is our old inverter. It, we can even do it with the Xia inverter here, with a three kilowatt inverter. That will work as well. 3000 watt will be the AC input here of the MultiPlus. And this is what the MultiPlus sees as grid. The MultiPlus will synchronize onto this grid. 
And then we have to set this 3000 watt as a limit for the AC input inside the inverter. So whenever we have load connected, which is larger than three kilowatt, the MultiPlus will add additional power from the battery, from solar, on top of the three kilowatts coming from the Xia inverter. So potentially we could have the 3000 watts plus the 5000 watts here. And this is exactly what the MultiPlus is designed for. And a few people have left comments under the last video and said, well, I have done this already. This will definitely work. It will be a great project. And I think the same. This will be an amazing project. This will be outstanding because we can, we can have both inverters working together. Yeah, so what do you say? Wouldn't that be an amazing project? I really like it. So thank you so much for all your comments and all your suggestions, all your ideas. I really enjoyed reading all the 265 comments. You're, you're insane, guys, really. <laughs> thank you so much for all your comments. <laughs> okay, um, well, we've got this one here naked. Uh, yeah, well, this one is the upgraded version already. It has screw terminals here. And I think they also moved this terminal from this position to here. Because I've seen videos where the AC in is on this side here, so they're all in one row. But this seems to be the upgraded version now. So once you, once you connect your battery here and fire up the inverter with a switch, you actually have immediately power on this output here, on the AC2 output, right? So this is just the normal inverter functionality of the MultiPlus. The AC1 output is switched, so there's a relay contactor inside, and then you can turn this one on with certain, under certain parameters, under certain circumstances. For example, this could be a load dump if the battery is full. So you can actually set, if the battery is full, turn on my hot water. If the battery is full, turn on the pool pump. If the battery is full, start charging the car. So this is what we can use the AC out one for. Isn't that amazing? It has this all built in already. That's just good. I like it. Yeah, and then before I let you go, I just want to make a quick test here with our uh, with our power. We want to measure the standby current, the standby power of the MultiPlus. Someone was asking for that and I said, yeah, well, next time I've got this all open here, um, I'll hook up the power supply quickly and then we do a measurement and see how much power it uses. Look at this, it's not flickering. You see that? It's coming from the, um, what is it? The Blue Eddy, <laughs> exactly. The Blue Eddy. It's not flickering anymore. So it must have something to do with the inverter. Okay, let's set um, 53 volts, right? 53 volts, and we turn down the amps so we can safely connect the power supply without making a big spark here. There could be a small spark. No, there's no spark at all because I've limited the amps so we can crank up the amps again and then it will nicely turn on again. All right, so we've got now 50 volts on the MultiPlus. This is a two-way switch. Number one is turning on the inverter. Number two is turning on the charger. This is only charging if you want to charge the battery and have an AC in connected here and the battery is connected, set it to two and it will start charging the battery. That's not what we want. Okay, let's um, turn this one on and watch the amps. There we go. Yep, the inverter is on. And we have 300, this is all cranked up here. 390 milliamps at 53 volts. So this, is, this gives us roughly 20.6 watts DC. Okay, let's measure the output voltage just quickly. Yeah, L and N. And we've got 200 and there you can see it, 229 volts. So inverter is working. It's actually the other way around, I think. So AC1 has power, but AC2 has no power at the moment. 
So this is the permanent, this is your essential load and this is your non-essential load which you can switch on and off uh, with certain parameters. So yeah, well there you have it. A 120 watts standby power. 400 milliamps at 53 volts. All right guys, so far this video from today, just a quick update on your ideas, on the community ideas again. Very, very good. <laughs> I'm so glad I've got you guys with all your ideas and all your suggestions. It is amazing. We are building a totally, well, we actually do. Uh, just a quick from there to there, this all upper section will be redesigned. Just a bit of spoiler alert, right? Just to give you a bit of an idea what I'm working on here at the moment. Yeah, yeah, we are not stopping making videos here. We are just starting making videos here. There will be heaps more coming very soon here on the channel. And I need you all to be part of it because I have many, many questions and you have the answers for it. I know that. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Um, what do I say? Now, what do I say all the time? Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support on the channel, especially people who have donated beer again. Thank you so much. I need to buy a new one, actually. I have now calibrated all three cartons I bought six or seven months ago. Yeah, this always looks insane here, right? But this is like six months worth of beer. I'm not drinking much, really. I have one here and there when I need a new calibrated spat. Well, guys, thank you so much for all your donations anyway. <laughs> Until I catch you in the next video, guys, you stay charged. And thank you again for watching. See you then. Bye-bye. That is so exciting.